In this tutorial in Windows 10, we'd like to look at how to recover a password that you've saved in the Edge browser. Recently, I ran into a situation where I could not get into my Vimeo account. I forgot to write down the password in a place where I could remember it. But I did have the Edge browser remember the password, so I could get there, but I, I had no idea what the actual password was. There is a way to recover that data from that database it creates using a few simple steps in Windows version 10. So I'd like to show you how to do that. To start the process, you need to get into the control panel, which I've done here. In case you're not sure how to get to the control panel, let me show you a very simple way. I'm going to close it down. And then in the search box, I'll just start typing the word control, and it will pop up as a desktop app. So I can click there, and now I am in the control panel. I want to go into the Credential Manager. Now I can click on it here, but if you have the other option, your Category View, you get to it through User Accounts, Credential Manager, and then Manage Web Credentials. If you have the other view, and we'll switch back to the either large or small icon view, I click on Credential Manager, and then that takes me right, right to manage your credentials. Now what this does is it gives me the option of looking at these items and picking any one where I forgot my password. I want to be on web credentials to do this. And so let me take one related to our Sharper Turtle. So if I forgot how to get into my Sharper Turtle website, I can click on the down arrow. It will give me the URL and then it will tell me I have a password and then I can either remove it if it's sensitive and I want to take it out or I can click on show. When you click on the word show you get this Windows security message that pops up. What's that all about? Well it's the same password you use when you log onto your computer after powering it up under Windows 10. So I can type my username and I can type my password. And then when I'm done, I click on OK. Now it gives me the password in that account. Now the nice thing about this is if you do that once, you can click on any of the accounts that you see here, anything in your entire list, and click on the down arrow. And you don't have to repeat that step when you're in there once. To, to unmask the password for any of those accounts. So if you have that information stored in Microsoft Edge, this is the way to get to it and either remove it or see what it is so you can record it and store it in a safe place. We hope you found this helpful if you ever get stuck in this kind of situation.